Brooke Baldwin, go ahead. Tell us what you're seeing. Sure. So you can see, you know, home after home, what 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 was a home just flattens. So many of the homes I'm looking at made of wood. And, you know, when you, when you think of the, the, the sheer force of those hurricane winds clocked at 155 miles an hour, it, you know, Chad talked a lot about how the hurricane took that right turn. And this is precisely where it took the turn. And Mexico Beach is a town about two miles wide by, by, by three miles long. It's, it's not it's not huge, but it's this quaint little seaside town about a thousand people live here year round. And I have no words. Uh, Brooke, for Brooke. What I'm looking at. So, for our viewers, if you're just joining us, you are seeing something remarkable and devastating. Our Brooke Baldwin is over Mexico Beach, uh, there on the Panhandle of Florida, for the first time. These are the first images you or any of us are seeing of a community destroyed, a community flattened. Brooke, we're all, I'm also hearing from our producers here, the National Guard is on the ground there below you. Uh, they're working with some local emergency officials who stayed. Right now, they're apparently with a group of 20 survivors there who hunkered down. Um, but keep telling us, keep walking us through this. I see some people, you see the, I see about half a dozen people on the ground. I, I, see, I, can, I can see some official emergency vehicles uh, you know, we wanted to get in. We wanted to, because these roads were impassable, and you can understand why just by looking at these pictures. Uh, we want to, we want to land this helicopter and go try to tell the stories of those few people who, who did choose to ride this thing out. Uh, fortunately, I think most people heeded those evacuation. It was a mandatory evacuation in this part of the Panhandle, and most people did leave. But as you pointed out, Poppy, there are more than a dozen people. Uh, who did decide to hunker down. I, I see more people uh, down along the road. Just just imagine th th this is your home. This is your livelihood. This is where you love. This is beautiful, pristine Mexico Beach, Florida, uh, along this gorgeous part of the Florida panhandle. And for people who are also waking up this morning, who, who have homes here, who did heed those warnings and leave. You know, I talked to a city councilwoman ye uh, yesterday on my show she lost her husband in November, and so she's going through this, and she was being texted by friends, uh, all saying to her, I'm so sorry for your loss. And she was just describing to me the feeling of losing her home and knowing she would lose her home because of the path of this hurricane. And uh, she's hoping to get back, as so many people I know are, are trying to get in touch to, 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 to see if their homes remain, and it's... That's Brooke Baldwin there, a d difficult signal you can understand uh, from in the air over Mexico Beach. These, these are images from there just moments ago. Brooke Baldwin in a helicopter over there. You can see entire homes, uh, no longer homes, just imprints of those homes where they used to stand. Uh, Brooke Baldwin said she did see some people on the ground there. Mm -hmm. And boy, you can tell why officials told folks to evacuate, mm -hmm. right? This is, this is a place where folks had no business being during a storm. We, uh, let's go to Brian Todd, our other colleague who's on the phone. And, and Brian, as I understand it, at last check, you were trying to get in to Mexico Beach by ground, but I know it's been nearly impossible. And these are the first images that we're seeing from Brooke. What can you tell us? Right, uh, Poppy and Jim, we're trying to get into Mexico Beach still. Uh, a number of road closures uh, and a number of uh, roads blocked by down trees and down power lines. We're still kind of navigating our way around. We uh, took some video as we made way uh, east on Route 388 trying to get to Mexico Beach, and that was pretty treacherous. I mean, just massive trees down the road. Uh, some, some people were able to get around them. We were able to get around some of those trees. But then you come to some other areas where there, it was just to get around it or where police were not allowing people through. There was one road block. Uh, in Mexico Beach, where the only Folks, bear, bear with us here because uh, communications are extremely difficult from there. We've heard of families. They can't reach family members on the ground. Uh, first responders yeah. cannot. But we, but we have uh, both Brooke Baldwin above Mexico Beach. we got our Brian Todd on the ground. 
as we get their signal back yeah. up again. And that's the road. Uh, that's on, the road on the left side of your screen. That's the road that Brian is on trying to get into there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we're going now. We, we have, I believe, we're, we're in touch with uh, with our another colleague on the ground there. Uh, Chad Myers, are, are you with us um, in in the severe weather center? Uh, because we our signal been... keeps uh, we keep losing it with with Brooke and, and Ryan. But yeah. Brooke was tell, talking about that right turn of the storm, and it was just you know just right in the bullseye. There was uh, was Mexico Beach. You know the. Uh... The flight path that she's been taking all along the beach showed the big empty space, which is where Tyndall Air Force Base was, and we could see the overwash of that beach there, and we expected it to be just as bad here in Mexico Beach, and it is. It's, it's breathtaking to realize that there's a couple city blocks there where buildings used to be, homes used to be. And then you take a look at some of the newest construction that's on the beach itself, on pilings, on pillars, and those oceanfront homes are still there.